So over here, you can see that I have a timeline right here. Besides timelines inside of hit film, what you can also do is work around with composite sorts where you can work around with effects and you can also go around and work around with animations. So uh, to create a composite shot inside of hit film, what you need to do is you need to go around onto the media tab right here. And then what you need to do is you need to go around and click on new. And over here, you can see that composite sort is an option over here. So you can also see composite sort is an option over here down at the bottom that you can click on. And then what happens is that it gives you an option to create a composite shot right here. So this is where you can add in the properties. So over here, I'm going to go around and say tutor, uh, tutor, uh, tube composite right here just like this and you can choose around the template the resolution and everything I'm just going to go around and leave it at default and there's this new thing right here compared to uh, the timeline right here that is the duration so in composite shots um, uh, it's usually shot in length and um, uh, since it's for effects and small animations um, uh, what you need to do is you need to define out duration as well. So let's just say I want to define it for five seconds right here. Uh, the zero zeros that you see at the end is um, for frames and it's set to 30 frames per second. So the value will go up to 29 right here, zero being the first count. And if it is set to, let's say, for example, 50 frames per second, then what happens is that uh, yeah, uh, 59, um, uh, uh, 49 will be the last value right here. You can also define the, uh, um, uh, the width and height of the video right here, uh, and make it custom as well. As uh, you can see, but let me just go around and set it to the default that is uh, 1080 full SD at 30 frames per second. You can choose around the aspect ratio over here as well. And you can also go around and select advance. One of the things that you can do is simply click on match timeline, which will actually match the resolution with the timeline that you see right here. So uh, you can also go around onto advance and then uh, select our different options from over here. But we're not going to focus on that and press OK right now over here. And there is this composite sort right here. And in the composite sort, there is this timeline and you don't get the layers directly as you can see right here. But you can go around and create out different kind of layers like plain text, grade, camera, light and point layers right here. Like if I were to select plain, then you can see that there's this layer right here that I can work with and you can work around with these layers right here. You can go around and work around with camera right here, as you can see. So there's this camera and this layer, as you can see right here. You can go around and work around with light, as you can see right here. So there's this light that you can work with as well. And if I were to go around and say text, then you can go around and bring in text, as you can see right here. So this is what you have. And then uh, you can actually go around and then uh, work around with text as well. So there are different type of layers that you can work with as you can see right here. And as we actually go around and then um, um, uh, move forward uh, with composite shot, we're going to go around and see what we can do with it and how we can utilize it for um, applying different effects uh, inside our project. And what we can also do is work around with um, uh, with the uh, composite shot and then bring it out in the timeline as well as we move, uh, work forward with it. So uh, that is how you can create a composite shot um, uh, inside of hit film. Uh, so I hope you guys learn something as always. And as always, please like, comment, share and subscribe.